we fluorescent green in the helmet like a kazoo. Yeah. Keep it blood lit at all times when I'm poking you. Green and purple think it's all kinds that I'm smoking and always rolling can't twist. Thanks for rolling up to Blood Marley. And this is certified pothead. Smoking on one of my nighttime spliffs. You know what you about to do, Bird Club. About to take a look at these cannabis conspiracy theories. Which I like to call cannabis conspiracy theories. Today's theory revolves around the invention of the wheel. Ladies and gentlemen, gather around, sit back, and prepare for the wildest ride you've ever been on. What I'm about to share with you will change the way you think about history, technology, and frankly, your own life. Today I'm diving deep into a conspiracy theory that will roll through your mind like, well, a wheel. And no, I'm not talking about the wheel of fortune or the one that you get at the fair. I'm talking about the first wheel, the very first one that was invented by someone who was probably smoking the good stuff. Yes, folks, the wheel was not invented through some great intellectual leap or divine intervention. It was invented because someone was stoned out of their mind, staring at a rock and thought, what if this thing just rolled? So sit tight, open your mind and prepare for a journey that will have you rolling with laughter. And yes, I acknowledge the pun, don't worry. Picture this, it's a long dusty day in the stone age. People are scraping by, doing what they do best, avoiding saber toothed tigers, hunting for food, and you know, just trying to survive. But there's one guy in the tribe Let's call him Brock, who's not too worried about survival. No, Brock is the chill one. He's sitting by the fire, leaning back, eyes half lidded, probably nibbling on some ancient herb. Yes, I'm speculating, but I'm pretty sure they had some green stuff back then. As he watches the smoke from the fire curl upwards and into the night, something profound and slightly high occurs to him. What if, what if I could get this rock to move without breaking my back? Now, before you jump, into conclusions, let's break this down. You see, Brock is not trying to reimagine transportation. He's not thinking of electric cars or hovercrafts. No, my friends, he's just trying to move a heavy rock without giving himself a hernia. And that's when the idea hits him. Instead of dragging this thing across the ground like an ancient Neanderthal, what if he just made it roll? And that's when Brock gets the revolutionary idea, what if a rock could roll? And there you have it, folks. The birth of the wheel, rolling with the idea. Yes, I know that's a bad pun, but I had to do it. Here's a riddle for you. Round and full, rolling along. You'll find me in cars, but never a song. I hope you go fast, but never go slow. What am I spinning to and fro? Now you might be thinking, wait a second. How did a guy like Brock, who probably hadn't discovered Netflix yet, get such a big idea? Well, my friends, that's where the high genius comes into play. Brock, let's face it, was likely the guy who came up with the first high-flying idea. He was sitting by the fire, hypothesizing, which, let's be honest, probably meant a lot of staring at smoke rings. And with every puff, he thought, why am I dragging this rock like some sort of primitive donkey? This thing could be rolling, like my buddy Bob after too many fermented berries. So, Brock gets his tribe together. Think of it like a stone age brainstorming session. And he says, hey guys, hear me out. What if we get this big rock to roll instead of dragging it around like a bunch of suckers? And the tribe, in all their wisdom, thinks, well, Brock might be onto something here. He's smoking something good and it's making him think outside the rock. Brock probably rolled up a couple of the other stones and tested them. And yes, I'm imagining him rolling with his new idea. Sue me for the puns. They're rolling out faster than the downhill tire. But lo and behold, after a few hours of experimenting, he discovered that rocks do roll. That was no small feat, my friends. The wheel was born that day, not from some grand plan or some inventor's blueprint, but because Brock simply rolled with the idea. Again, I know, I can't help it. Puns, puns, puns. Here's another riddle for you. I roll on four legs, but never eat a thing. I carry heavy loads, but do not need to sing. With my sturdy frame, I get things done. What am I rolling in the sun? As you might imagine, once Brock rolled out the wheel, see what I did there? The tribe was amazed. And not because they were probably all stoned too. They were amazed because Brock had just solved a huge problem, transporting things. They could now move heavy stones, logs, and all kinds of other cumbersome objects without having to drag them through the mud. And the best part, 
They didn't need to call in any engineers or physicists. Just a good buzz and a few rounds of highly creative thinking. Soon enough, Brock's ideas started catching on. Other tribes began rolling their own versions of the wheel. They were probably really into it. Don't, pre don't pretend you didn't see that one coming. They started attacking, attaching words, people. Attaching wheels to carts, chariots, and even their homes because once you invent the wheel, there's literally no stopping it. It was like a snowball effect. Or should I say wheel effect? I can I can hear y'all groaning. Riddle time. I'm round like a pancake, but I'm full of holes. I carry a car. I roll over rolls. I've been with you forever, it seems. What am I rolling on dreams? Fast forward a few centuries and suddenly the wheel isn't just a caveman curiosity. It's an integral part of human civilization. The Egyptians used it to build pyramids, not for transportation, but for moving giant stones. The Greeks and Romans perfected the chariot wheel and soon the wheel was everywhere on carts, wagons, carriages, and even those cozy carts with the giant wooden wheels that somehow could hold 10 people in a goat. We have wheels on cars, on bikes, on suitcases, even in our computer mice. Though I'm sure the first mouse was also invented by someone who was pretty high. I mean, what better way to get things moving than just roll with it? It's fascinating to think that something as simple as a round rock sitting there, minding its own business, could lead to an entire revelation in human progress. And it's not just the invention that's fascinating. It's the way it spread, like a wave of creative genius that could only come from a bunch of people getting together, sharing some ideas, and well, puffing out a new possibility. Here's another riddle for you. I may be small, but don't underestimate. I'm spinning faster than a roller skate. I'm on your bike, your skateboard too. What am I rolling through the view? So what's the moral to the story? The truth is, innovation doesn't always come from hard work and sacrifice. Sometimes it comes from sitting back, relaxing, and letting your mind roll. Just like Brock the Caveman. And sometimes it takes a little herbal of inspiration to come up with ideas to change the world. I'm sure Brock might have been a wobbly caveman when he first rolled that rock. But he was also a pioneer of rolling with the good times. So the next time you're faced with a problem, remember Brock. Don't overthink it. Just let your mind roll and see where it takes you. And who knows, maybe, like Brock, you'll invent the next best thing while just chilling by the fire, letting your thoughts spin freely. After all, the wheel didn't just change the way we travel. It rolled us right into the future. So keep it rolling, my friends. The answer to the riddle. Tire, wheelbarrow, tire. See you on the next one.